shot at all ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Welcome to another episode of Ranger and Chow. Today, Ranger's going to be hitting us with his topic. He's been waiting, waiting so patiently to hit us with this one. So I have. Jump into it, big fella. All right. I want to talk about people who teach their kids to drive and driving schools that teach people to drive the wrong friggin' way. Now you know what I'm talking about. For example, the speed lane, the right hand lane, the fast lane. The speed lane. What the hell is going on with them sitting <laughs> in their 100 zone and they're doing 90 with their L plates on? Mums and dads don't teach kids to drive properly. That's the issue here. If you're gonna teach a kid to drive, at least tell them one thing. Don't sit in the right hand lane doing under the speed limit, you twat. Oh, let's not just generalize to the that right hand lane issue let's say don't be ignorant if you're on the road you've got all these mirrors around your car you've got speed signs and things to tell you how you should be driving and let you monitor what's going on around you now sometimes <laughs> I have a fair distance to travel for work and every now and then I could be running five minutes late now it's not hard to make up five minutes in traffic because you can slip between the less than competent drivers but if they just weren't there I wouldn't have to yell at them my favorite is the drivers that sit beside each other a, a car in the left lane and a car in the right lane and they just sit there at the same speed get out of the way so people can get past you ignorant twat that used to be my favorite until my wife and I had our child and now I'm not allowed to drive like I used to because I love the people that sat side by side because I'd be the guy that was about two inches from your bumper with the horn and the lights flashing yeah. saying hey you're not in the right place which is great because I get all indignant that they're breaking the law by sitting in this right hand lane that they are not overtaking. Did you say indignant? Indignant, yes. I'm quite impressed. That's a good word isn't it? <laughs> Chow just used a big vocabulary word there. Mm, indignant. And Not bad from a very cantankerous person. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite serendipitous of him, wasn't it? I feel like we're just going down the line of throwing Any, out big words. And anyway, the, I've run out of big words. So. The other thing that annoys me about people learning to drive is when, is they, have when to, they don't listen to a full story. They have to make a right hand it. turn and they do it from the left hand side of the road so they completely block the road. No one can slip past them on the inside. Or the little people that think they're driving trucks, like little cars. I'm in my. Right hand turning lane, I have a whole lane to myself. I'm going to swing left before I do it. Oh, Your yeah, car the big, is this the big long, swing, you yeah. don't need to swing. That's, That's what right. trucks do. Trucks need to swing, they have trailers and things. Idiots! Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know who's actually teaching who to drive these days, but um, I don't think it's complicated. I think it's just a case of don't be ignorant towards everybody else and get out of the way, leave room, leave space, and don't sit beside other people on the highway. Make room for people to get past. And again, it's about that being present with what you're doing. If you're looking 10 meters ahead of yourself, you're gonna be one of those people that cause an issue. If you're looking 100 meters ahead and everything in between that, and you can see that there's someone about to merge on, don't be the ignorant person that's sitting two inches up the arse of the next person. Leave that one gap, they merge in. Everyone continues doing that speed. Oh, you just you just touched on one of the things that I merging? really really dislike. No. Merging or the oh merging. Thing? Let's talk about merging, for example. Uh, hold on. People that go to merge and they stop. Let's do the government's <laughs> trick. What'll help merging isn't actually making sure people can drive. It's we'll slow the speed limit down on the highway. People still can't merge. They're still useless at driving. They're just doing it slower now. If you're gonna merge, merge at the same speed as the flowing traffic it you're moving into. It does help to accelerate oh. to the speed limit to help your merging. People slow down to it a crawl. Also, also helps if you're in the left-hand lane of a two-lane, excuse me, highway, and you can see there's a merging lane coming up. Feel free to f off into the right-hand lane so that people can get into that left-hand lane a little bit easier. Yeah, merging. <laughs> yeah, so merging tra is... traffic and I. We're a very passionate couple. Merging is a big one. Mm. I don't know. There's another one that bothers me, which is, of course, the red light. What? Well, good opportunity to have a bit of a read yeah. on your phone. And it, it, everybody lights. seems to think that as soon as that light goes amber, you need to slam on your brakes and stop. Oh. It's, not, it's not designed that way. It's designed that if you don't have time to stop, you can go through the intersection. That's time for you to make a educated decision, which is, once again, where we're falling down here, I think. It's the educated part of the general society. 
if you look at that and go, hey, I'm doing 60k an hour and there's 20k, 20 meters to stop in, probably not going to make that safely and the guy behind me might get a little bit close to me as well. I might just go through. <laughs> yeah. Or there's the other one when you're sitting in bumper to bumper traffic and every, every now and then the person in front of you just sort of stops moving to look at their phone and then another three cars get in front of them and you're just getting pushed back further and further until you lose your shit <laughs> and stomp on the horn and then they get angry with you. I don't know. Well, in all fairness. Anyway. I think they're less angry about you being on the horn but more of you stomping on the horn. Like, could you imagine that view for everyone with your leg up and don't stop your horn? That's, the, that's, that's kind of the end of my rant for this topic. Um, yeah, I think we... We've probably got a little bit passionate. Some of us got a bit passionate there. <laughs> but know, spent a lot of hours of my life in traffic, in cars and things, and it'd be nice just to spend some more time with my family than fuckwits on the road. <laughs> That's ciao. Sorry. Let loose there. Um, I would like to say thank you because we now have our 140 plus subscribers. Guys, thank you very much for getting on board and supporting us. Um, the subscribe button down there is the key, of course. Subscribe, and uh, that really helps us to keep moving forward. Make sure if you enjoy anything that we do, let your friends know about it. Share us on the socials. Subscribe. Make sure you're pushing us along. We really appreciate all the encouragement we've got so far. You guys seem to be enjoying what we're putting out there. Love to see some more comments, though, guys. Chuck something in there. Make sure that we're doing our job. That's right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Good